Hello everyone and happy Halloween. I am Katie and welcome to my channel Burnt Pancakes where I share with you some of my motherhood tips and tricks. Today I've got a really fun activity that you can do with your kids or students and it's called the Candy Corn Pumpkin Tower Challenge. Let's get started. Okay, I'm here with two of my kids. <laughs> how old are you? Four. And how old are you? Seven. All right, and we are gonna do the pumpkin candy corn challenge. They've never done this before, so it's gonna be fun to see how they do with it. Um, I'm just gonna give them a short little bit of directions and then just see what their creativity does before I give them any pointers. So for this challenge, they need um, these jumbo craft sticks, or you can use the these popsicle small popsicle sticks. sticks, that's right, oh, and pumpkin candy corn. So I like to use the pumpkin shaped ones. <laughs> so they are not gonna eat any until the very end, right? Yes. Not till the end? Not till the end, okay. this one. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes on him. Okay, so boys, your challenge is to build a tower with your pumpkin candy corns and your sticks. But how do we poke them in? Okay, so you're not gonna poke them. You're going to have to figure out some other way to make a tower. Now, I'm not giving them any pointers yet, but if they seem like they're getting stuck, then I'll give them some hints. But I like seeing what they can do on their own. This is kind of like a STEM challenge where they're using their imagination and their creativity to do some building and engineering, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, use your brains. Think of something. And then if you need some pointers later, I'll help you out. Okay, let's get started. Okay. My seven-year-old got started right away. I asked him what his plan was, and he said he wanted to make a strong base with his pumpkins and sticks. I suggest asking them to explain their plan, and then reminding them that if something doesn't work, you can always revise it. I knew this activity was gonna be a little bit harder for my four-year-old. That's why I gave him the jumbo craft sticks. He didn't seem to mind at all. For an added bonus, you can always give them a time limit or a height limit to challenge them further. As you can see, he switched his strategy from the one he was using before. He decided to make a square shaped tower. You could always suggest that or tell them to make a triangle or something else. I like it. He's making a nice flat base by eating the tops. Yeah. I guess that part's allowed. <laughs> oh. oh no! Okay, keep trying. Even though his tower fell a few times, he kept going and check out how high he got it. Okay, as you can see, we have been busy building. We've got a big tower over here. We've got a lot of pumpkins over here from building. We had a really good time. If you try this activity at home with your kids, make sure to leave me a comment and let me know how it goes. I think they're ready to start eating their pumpkins, right? I'm gonna keep nope, you're going to keep going. They're going to keep building. For an added challenge, you can tell your kids to make their tower maybe five inches tall or five stories. My son dominated that challenge and made his seven. He was so proud of himself. And my four-year-old finished his project making what he called a pumpkin garden. I think the best part was eating their towers at the end. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more tips from a mom who has already been there. And remember, everyone burns their first pancake, so just keep flipping. Happy Halloween, everyone.